How's it everyone? Welcome to Hawaiian Horology and today we're going to be doing an unboxing of this 4MIX watch. This is the first time I'm going to be uh, looking at it and we're looking at it at the same time with y'all. But what I need to tell you is some questionable customer service or shipping practices that went on when I purchased this watch and I'll be telling you that story in the video to come. Here we go! All right, so here we go with the unboxing. This is the first time I'm actually seeing this watch in person. So here's a quick story. I purchased this watch from um, Teddy Balthasar's website, teddybalthasar.com. And um, this watch has been sold out for a while. I got a notification that it was in stock from Teddy's website. So when I went to the website, I inquired within. Ooh, look at this. I inquired in the website. They ended up um, giving me a phone call and they ended up giving me a phone call and I talked to the sales associate. This watch was ordered on a Friday, shipped out on that Monday and I was like, wow, that's pretty good. You know, they said it'll be shipping out in the next week and it got out on Monday. But the thing is, you know, you check and it says label created. I checked on Tuesday, it said the label was created. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, it still said the label was created. I was like, hmm, what's going on? Did something happen to my package? Did they not ship it yet? I inquired with the salesperson at um, Teddy's website and he told me, oh yeah, they, they did create the label, but they didn't ship it yet. They expect the shipping the following week. So I was like, hmm. I mean, I, I don't have a problem with them not shipping it right away, but I don't think companies or brands should say that the label was created and then not ship it out till the week after. So again, I purchased on Friday. They said it was shipped on Monday and then it wasn't shipped until the following Tuesday or Wednesday. And I was like, oh, that's kind of like what a bad eBay seller would do, you know, like mark it as shipped and then not ship it until like the last day that they're supposed to or even after when they're supposed to so that's just what i thought about that whole shipping experience but to make matters worse this is no fault to formex or to teddy baltasar.com that um there was a severe weather delay and then it said there was a mechanical failure and then finally it ended up it shipped from uh switzerland but then next thing you know, the package is in Germany and then it finally got here, I want to say maybe three weeks after I purchased it. So that's just a little story about the shipping. But at first look, this Formex SN39 Malachite dial looks very stunning. This is a very, very nice watch. A little more juice than I was putting on it. And so on the wrist, this is a pretty nice watch. I mean, this has... Very nice bracelet, three link bracelet. These um, these little points add a little extra character to it. I mean, it's definitely different from a regular um, regular watch having this um, these three holes in it around the bezel here. It's a very nice dial, very intricate. I guess all the dials should be a little different because it's cut from the malachite uh, stone. But so far, first impressions, this watch is, um, Feeling nice, looking nice. It has a little, um, look at that, a little springy action to the whole watch case itself. But I'm gonna get this on the wrist for maybe a week or two, then I'm gonna come along with a full review with more information on it later. But this is just a quick unboxing and a quick story about a little shady practices here. Maybe not shady, but I just think it was, um, you know, they shouldn't have created the label or marked it as shipped if it wasn't gonna ship for another another week and a half or so. But anyway, well, let me know if you had any other um, bad experiences with shipping for this, uh, this company or maybe some other companies down in the comments below, but I'll have a full review for you guys shortly. And thanks for watching. Shoots.